Good morning, everyone. I am Jada Kelly, and today we are going to do a quick ab workout that you are going to love. Go ahead and grab one dumbbell, and that's all you'll need. And let's go ahead and start our warm up. We're going to start on the mat, so go ahead and find your space. Get into all fours. Make sure that your wrist is directly beneath your shoulder. Go ahead around your back and then drop the belly, bring up the head. So this is just our cat cow, starting to warm up that midsection. Couple more. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Last one right here. Awesome, now take one hand, I want you to put it behind your head. Tap your elbow down and then twist and open up. Rotating through that mid back. As you drop your elbow down, you can bend the other elbow so your body lowers enough for you to tap that elbow to the ground. Couple more. Good, and last one right here. All right, let's go ahead. Do that same move, opposite hand behind the head, drop the elbow, and twist and open up. And you're just rotating as much as you can. You might find that one side is a little bit tighter than the other, and that's okay, you don't get discouraged. Just continue to rotate, try to open up on that side and bring the elbow up toward the ceiling or the sky. Good. Let's do one more. Awesome, come back to all fours. Let's do a quick bird dog. So I'm taking one arm and then the opposite leg's gonna extend. Awesome, lengthening. Now we're gonna switch. Pulling my belly button into my spine, getting my core ready to get through this workout. Couple more. Keeping my neck in alignment with my spine. Neck is relaxed. Reach, awesome, couple more. Let's get one more on each side. All right, last part of our warm, go ahead and go into a plank. So brace your toes underneath, push up into down dog, and then back to a plank, good. Lift those hips, press those heels toward the ground. Feel the stretch, and then come back to a plank. Remember to, to squeeze your butt cheeks when you get in that plank, and pull your belly button to your spine. Let's get two more. And last one. Awesome, all right, we're ready. So we have 10 different moves today. We're gonna roll through each, about 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. First move, let's sit down, grab your dumbbell, and bring it right to your chest. So what we're doing is leaning back, pressing the dumbbell away, and then coming back up to a nice upright seated position as we pull that dumbbell back to our chest. Let's do it. Good, pull that belly button to the spine. Exhale as you lean back. So good, you guys. Couple more. And last one right here. Great, turn over, go into a plank. Put your dumbbell to one side of you. We're doing plank pull through. So if you need to, you can start on your knees. Make sure you tuck that pelvis under. Grab the dumbbell, pull it to the other side. And then switch, grab the dumbbell, pull it to the other side. Good, so the more, oh, that was my dumbbell. <laughs> the farther out you, your dumbbell is, the harder this move's gonna be. Now if you want to, go ahead and bring it to those toes and continue the move. Awesome, so good you guys. Remember you can drop it back to your to your knees at any time. Reach and grab that dumbbell, pull it through. 
couple more. We got three, two, and one. So great. All right, going into our next move, go ahead and stand up, going into a halo. Bring the dumbbell all the way up to your chest, around your head, and twist and slice. Around your head, twist and slice. So good. Around. There we go. Halo around. Nice, keep that dumbbell close to your head. Couple more. There we go, guys. Working that core, we got three, two, one. Awesome, next move, we're staying in a standing position. And here, we're taking the dumbbell, pressing it up to center, let's go ahead and start. Lean, and then back at center, good. Lean, now the deeper you lean, the more you're gonna be working those obliques. Remember, you're leaning deep and then pulling yourself back using your abdominals. So there's no momentum here. Just pulling back. Good. Couple more. Three, two, one. So great. All right, next move. We are going into a reverse lunge. Now the whole thing here is keeping that center and making sure you're working through the middle to keep you balanced. Ready? Here we go. Reverse lunge and we're bringing one arm up. Woo! So I can feel it through my core because I'm resisting leaning towards the side. Good. Stay nice and strong. Might be like, Jada, this doesn't look like a core exercise. No, it doesn't, but you're gonna feel your core turn on. <sighs> Good. As you lift that arm and bring that leg back. <sighs> so good, you guys. Three more seconds. Three, two, and one. Yes, all right. Same move, other side. You ready? We're gonna get into this one. So now I have my left leg forward and my left arm is gonna be moving. Right leg goes back in three, two, and one. Oh, there we go. Keep that body in the center. Pull the belly button to the spine. Feel that core turn on. So good. Awesome, you guys. All right, five more seconds, we got this. Three, two, one, so good. All right, let's take this dumbbell, stand, have your feet about shoulder width apart, and we're gonna do a standing figure eight. Keep your arms long, move through your shoulder. Elbow stays extended, ready, here we go. 45 seconds. See if you can make this figure eight just a little bit bigger. There we go, come on. Remember, I'm moving through my shoulder. My arms stay nice and long. Good, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. So great. All right, we just have a couple more. That's it. Taking it back down to the floor, and we're going to do a dumbbell pass through. So it's going to go under and then under the other side. Ready? Let's go. So the more you lean back, the harder this is. 
But if you need to come upright a little bit more just to keep going, that's fine. Remember, this is your workout and it's supposed to be 100% of what you have. Not what anyone else has. We're just working with your personal best. Good, pass that dumbbell under and through. Lift that leg as you pass it under. So good. About five more seconds. Nice job, you guys. Three, two, one. Awesome, take it back into a plank. Keep your dumbbell in the center of your hands right now. And then as we rotate, we're gonna pick up the dumbbell and do a fly with it. So rotate, fly, good, back down, other side, rotate, fly. Yes, guys, keep that belly button pulled toward the spine. Stay strong through your core. Keep breathing. If you need to, you can definitely bring this down to your knees and just extend that top leg. So you turn, extend that top leg, or go back to your toes like I started before. Three, two, one. So good. All right, you guys, we have our last move. Go ahead and lay down all the way. Have your dumbbell at your chest. Now extend it overhead, bring it up and roll up. There we go. And then slowly roll down, bring the dumbbell back all the way over your head. Now there is no, no rush to this movement. You're moving one vertebrae at a time. No momentum at all. We got five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Yes, we did it. 10 moves. We got that done. Now let's do a quick cool down. And then you can either do another workout or this can be it for today. So we're gonna go back to that cat cow that we visited in our warm up. Such a great movement for the spine. Three, two, one, awesome. Now from here, let's go into child pose. Put one hand over the other and then lean into the side that is opposite of your hand. So my hands are to the right and I'm leaning in towards the left, feeling that stretch through my oblique on the left side. Awesome, let's go ahead and switch. So now my hands are stacked on the left and I'm leaning in toward the right side of my body. Awesome. Find a plank. So good. Take it down dog. Back to the plank, but drop the hips now. Open up. So good. Back to the down dog. Drop the hips, open up. Last one, just like that. So great, you guys. I'm gonna hit this child pose one more time. That felt so good. I hope you enjoyed that quick ab routine. I'm Jada Kelly, and we'll see you at the next workout.